My name is Lance Brook and we're at Emmitsburg, Iowa today. Okay. Yeah, my operation consists of about 3,000 acres, uh, about a, about a two-thirds corn, one-third soybean rotation, and uh, also raise, uh, raise some pigs as well. So. Yeah. I heard about Maya through my brother, who uh, is in Europe, and, and of course these heads come from Spain, Europe, and so consequently we, we started talking to him and uh, decided, took some took a look at the head, liked the features of it, and uh, liked the folding features of it, the chopping, that kind of stuff, and, and uh, decided to buy one, send it over, and uh, that's how we got to this point. Shows the Maya corn head. Uh, we like the folding feature. Um, that is a that's a uh, there is other corn heads that are folding, but this is kind of one one that um, we know we liked a few other things on it. They have a really unique down corn feature that is not on here today, but a, a very very unique that I haven't seen on any other head. And uh, it it is a chopping head as well. That works really well. So um, just some just some basic features that you know, really, really worked good and made the head uh, kind of stand out. The folding feature is, is really slick for going on the road. Um, a 12 row is going to be, um, a 12 row folding is going to be probably more beneficial than the eight row, which is what this is, just because the wider the feature, you have to take that off. You can actually get down the road with an eight row where you, you can't with a 12 row. So I think that from a time saving is going to be a very important thing. Um, you, you, if you farm very many acres and you, you do a lot of road work, which everybody does anymore, you, you spend a lot of time transporting head and putting it on and off and stuff, and this will definitely save a lot of time and, and uh, make it a lot simpler, you know, is probably the biggest thing instead of doing that all the time in and out of every field. You know, the, the biggest reason that we chose Maya, this folding corn head, is probably the chance to work with Luis and his company and we got the we, we do have the distributorship and we'll be helping them sell them now and where we couldn't do that with the other corn heads because there obviously there is dealers there is distributors here already so we got the chance to get a hold of a folding corn head and one that we like and it works good and also also can uh, work with these guys in the future and and uh, sell them for them so Basically, you know, if, if a farmer wants a my corn head, um, you know, he, he's going to get a hold of us either through, obviously, email, website, um, you know, and, and you know, talk talk to him from there. Um, once that once a deal has been made, then uh, roughly two and a half, three weeks, hopefully, the head can be here from Spain. So there's it's it's coming from that far. It's it's actually gets here pretty quick. Um, and then the sport part of it, you know, we're going to be, Emmitsburg, Iowa is basically going to be headquarters for it. We'll have full supply of parts and, um, you know, try and try and have parts for them within 24 hours if something's needed. The one nice feature on this head is three-year full warranty. And I, I'm not sure, I don't believe there's any other heads out there that have that. So that's a, that's an important feature and parts are expensive and, and um, you know, that's, that's something that's going to definitely be a big, big factor for having these heads. So farmer wanting to purchase his head if he's if he's in the undecided you know the the one nice feature I noticed is it runs really flat so consequently you can run the head a little slower you don't have ear loss you don't have shelling at the head um, it gets under down low ears really well where where some of the other competitive competitive heads run a little more angle and I like that feature on this a lot I think it, you're probably going to save more corn because of the way the design of it is and that kind of stuff and then plus you're obviously getting the chopping and, and that at the same time. So, yeah, you know it, it looks like it chops really well as we can see here what we're doing today uh, the angle of the which we'd have to look underneath it but the angle of the blades is, is angled a little bit which consequently throws the trash into the ground it doesn't win row with a lot of heads have to have a divider or something in there or they also they keep throwing the trash one way and you end up getting a wind roll out of it. This one you don't, it, it does a very nice job of that. It, it seems to cut really low and uh, so far it looks like it works really well. Yeah, so Biggest things you know I want to look at is, is making sure that we're not losing ears, we're not losing shell corn and the head runs slow enough and like I say lays flat enough that uh, we really don't have that going on. So uh, the chopping is kind of an added bonus. I mean everybody, the main objective out here is to put corn in the tank and put it in the bin. and if you have a really good chopping head and you lose corn, people aren't going to buy that. They're going to buy it because of what the job it does, not the job it does saving corn or putting it in the combine versus the chopping feature. So in this case, you get best of both worlds, I think. 
Yeah, the down corn attachment is a real unique feature on this head. It has a, uh, it has the end snoots have paddles, so to speak, on the end that bring corn in, and then there's snoots that can be put on very simply in the middle of the head that have a gathering chain that runs up the middle of the head, which brings the corn in if it's down. I've never seen it on any other corn head, and that's one thing that kind of brought us to it. If we get to a position where we, hopefully we never have a lot of down corn, nobody wants that, but somewhere you do, somewhere every year, there's an issue with wind, and that might be a feature that will will be really key to making this head work good so without adding a corn reel or something like that to it.